I have another set of sea glass that I found on the Thames estuary in one particular beach. My last video had the blue printed and painted pottery and this one is not blue. Um, I have a bit of an introduction coming and then you'll see the collection. I have a sea glass problem. All of that sea glass is from one beach, two trips, and um, I don't even know how much it is, how heavy it is, but it's a lot. And it is just a fraction of the sea glass that I've collected, um, but it is some of the most beautiful stuff I've seen. This, um, and in this case, a lot of these are not particularly worn down because uh, it's kind of the Thames estuary, sort of where the Thames meets the sea. Uh, so there's just not the same types of conditions that you would see um, just on a seaside type of beach. Um, I'm going to walk you through a little bit of what I found. So here we have a collection of not blue pottery. It looks like a wide variety here. We have some something that looked quite realistic and beautiful here in a black. There's a brown here and something a bit more stylized. And uh, these patterns and these patterns in, in the dark brown as well. Um, there's a reasonable amount of the dark brown and black, but by far, as I mentioned in the other video, it is mostly blue that you find. I don't know if it's like that everywhere, if it's just on this beach or, or what the situation is, but that's the way it's been. And we do have as well a little bit of green, little green bits, but not a significant amount of, of green either. Um, that makes it look a bit more precious because you don't see it as much, but yeah, it's, that has a little bit of a label still on it. A mark? I don't even know what you really call it. I don't know a lot about pottery. I just find it fascinating and beautiful to find it on the beach, but I have not done any sort of significant amount of research into it. I do think about it sometimes, some things, but I don't know much. I tried to keep the modern, more modern pieces out of this, um, out of this selection that I've got now, but I'm not too sure about this one. It's got a bit of Scottish, Scottish thistle showing there. And I'm not sure something about the heft and the glaze makes me think, think it's more modern, but I don't really know anything about it. So, and uh, yeah, like I mentioned in the last video, this may have been um, part of a tip that washed out towards the sea. Don't really know for sure. That's just rumor. That's a little bit of a handle or something. I do love pieces like that. They tell a bit more of the story of, of what part it is of the um, original ceramics. So that's a bit of a selection of non-blue and uh, there's going to be next uh, a video that shows the white pottery.